welcome. Um, been asked by one of my followers on YouTube, uh, someone called, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Dukta, on uh, how to create a route in moves count and then how to enable that route on your watch um, so you can obviously use it when you're out in the field. So I thought I'd do a quick video clip for him uh, and go through the steps on um, creating a new route and how to send it to your watch. So here we go, uh, I've logged into MovesCount. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the plus sign and go to create new route. Uh, for this purposes, we'll just call it circular. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little area here to create my route. So the first thing you wanna do is click to add a start point. So if I click on that little join there in the in the, the track, so that's now got a little square, so that's my start point. How you plan your route now um, is very dependent on where you're going. If you want to follow tracks which are predefined on the map, you can use this option here called Follow Roads Walking, which means that when you click on a big long stretch, The route that I put in follows the route of the track. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around this circular. Now, just clicking on, on my route. And we can get a full map. All done. And back to the start. Oh. Okay. So that's my route. What you can do is if you want to um, divert your route a little bit, um, you'll see you'll find on your route these little squares, these are way markers. So what you can do is, is use them and drag them onto another route or drag them onto another path uh, if you want to slightly deviate from what you've initially intended to do. Uh, to do that, simply left click and drag it and you'll see now, because I'm following roads walking, it's now amended the path for me uh, and added on the extra part to get to where I want to go. So I'm going to undo that for the time being. So that's my route. What you can do along your route is on these waypoints, you can add little starts and finishes. You know, you can add add one here, so I want to, uh, my camp's going to be here. You know, I can put in the camp, point of interest, is my camping site and around this side let's add another one and let's add another another waypoint that's a, a view and the point of interest is a mountain <clears throat> so you can add these up and these all show up on your watch as you go around when you've added in and plotted in all your route all you simply need to do is Click the slider here, say use with my Sunto Traverse or whichever watch you've got and click save. Once that's saved, you can see on the map um, your altitude and distance, uh, what waypoints you put on there and you can also see the little, little markers on the map and start and finish. And you know, if you want to make any changes now's the time to do it you know you can um, edit the map and add in more waypoints slightly change your route so you just click edit again just drag your map out wherever you want to go and then click save once you've done all that that's the map inside of it done Next step that we need to do is to connect your watch to your computer. And you'll do that with the, the supplied USB sync cable that came with your watch. So I shall connect mine now and uh, hopefully just move my move link over onto the screen. Okay, you can see it's been connected. And what it's doing now is it's synchronising the data between my watch and the PC and vice versa. So the map that we have just added into MuseCount 
um, through the sync process or then get transferred over to your watch. So we'll just wait a few moments for the, that to synchronize. Uh, it doesn't usually take that long because uh, there's only a, a little bit of data there. And there we go, synchronizing moves, all done. And all it's do now is just updating the satellite data for, to the watch to make sure it's, it stays as current as possible. <clears throat> Nearly there, okay, all done. So that is now synchronized that route with the watch. So that's now ready for me to use out in the field. When you get out in the field, when you want to use your, your watch, you'll simply press the start button on your watch and then go to navigation, then go to routes. And what it'll do is it'll show you how many routes you've got on your watch and you will select the route that you've just done and it'll give you an option to either navigate or view. Uh, so you want to select navigate. And the first thing it's gonna do is ask you for um, the direction that you're going. So are you gonna go in a forward direction around the map that you've plotted, or are you gonna go around in the reverse? So you'll select forward normally. Then once it's done that, it'll, the watch will then go away and <coughs> acquire a GPS signal. Once the GPS signal is acquired, bleeps for you and you're on your way you know get walking uh, and follow your map route obviously the, the watch is there as a good guide for you you know um, go off the beaten track and you'll see that it'll leave a little trail of breadcrumbs behind you as you walk away from your, your pre-planned track get out there and enjoy it have fun and I hope that this little tutorial on the Sunto Traverse has been useful to you, Doctor. By all means, ask any questions in the comments down below, or if you want any further help or assistance with it, just ask. That's it for now. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.